talk to us literally. Just give us the thirty thousand foot overview of fan control football. I make I try my best to make it real quick, but eight years ago, I was in Chicago. I was at uh, at one of my buddies' semi pro football games, and you know, semi pro is just a whole bunch of guys getting together, just trying to kill each other. You know, uh-huh. I'm sitting in the stands. They wanted me to talk to the teams, and so I'm sitting in the stands and. I'm texting my guy like, dude, you know, semi pro's got his get, like, got his phone on him. So uh-huh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Bruh, what is your coach doing, man? He's calling all dumb old plays, man. Tell me to run a sweep. That corner sucks. Tell me to run a pass. Do this. Anyway, I get on the field, I talk to the players, and then I just out of the blue, I go, Coach, can I get your phone number? And he was like, Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna text you some plays. And I want you to run them for me, okay? I said, Coach, you do whatever you want on defense. I go back up in the stands. I just, because I had to see it right, I was like, run a sweep. And he ran a left sweep, got six yards. Really? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So <laughs> you literally, te- this is a semi pro. So again, this is not NFL, or whatever. You text the coach during the game to run a play, and he actually ran, ran that play and got six yards. And I stopped and I was like, oh my God. I was like, Run a pick, run your play action pass. And he ran it. And I'm moving down the field in the stands, just texting him plays. Hold on, and- hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so you're basically playing a live video game with people. Yes, that's what we've created. So I go home and I go work on it. I'm like tripping. I'm like, man, this is crazy. How do I do this? And I put about $25,000, $30,000 in it to try to come up with a beta test, taught myself how to decode a beta test app to call four plays. I had four plays on a on a phone, and I and all the people had to do was pick one the tech the, the number one, two, three, or four. Mm-hmm. And which number had the most votes was the play that got ran. So okay. that that's all all I, all that's all it, it was just four plays and and it worked. And I was just like wow. So I ran into my old teammate Tony Paris, played for the New York Jets safety. And we were just talking. He was like, man, what you working on? And I was just like, I kind of told him about it. He was like, man, bro, that is so stupid. <laughs> I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> like, damn. And he was tell- he just telling me how it wouldn't work. Mm-hmm. But PP was my, he was my oracle mm-hmm. in my matrix. You feel me? He okay. told me what I needed to hear because yes. then I was able to go back and change some things. And by that time, I had already put the seed in him to, to what it was. He runs into my partner now and my CEO, Sora Faroudi, that had an actual arena football team in the, in the arena league, and mm-hmm. he wanted to make his team a fan-ran team. And so Tony calls me and was like, bro, uh, I got a guy that's trying to do the same thing you're doing. And I'm like, wait, what? And I'm tripping. I'm like, oh, somebody's already coming out with this? Mm-hmm. I'm like, wait. And he was like, yeah, he got some money too, and he wants to do the same thing you're doing. I'm like, and he goes, but he wants to meet you. Ooh. I'm like, so I'm telling my wife, you know, I'm talking to my wife. Like I can say, go back to my teammate. I go back to the huddle. And I'm like, look, this is my idea. But this other dude got this idea too. What you think? She was like, what's it going to hurt to go up and see him? That's right. We go up and see him. He had gotten two other guys that he didn't know. They, one was an SEO guy. The other guy was a gamer. And I was the football player. Mm-hmm. And he was the CEO. We all sitting at the table like, Let's do it. Like, mm. why, why have 100% of nothing or 25% of something we can create really great? And we, right. had the, we had the right ingredients to make it work. An actual CEO, an entrepreneur that actually exited a company before, a tech guy, SEO guy, and a football player. Mm. We ended up raising $2.5 million, went out and bought a, a football team in the Arena League, and we, we proved the concept out. The Arena League was horrible. It was a horrible mm-hmm. place for us. It was traditional. None of the none of the coaches or the or the uh, uh, or the owners liked what we were doing, mm-hmm. and we were like, we got to do our own thing. And that's the thing I thought my partners are so well at, and a lot of people aren't doing this. And I'm gonna drop this is this is a this is a business gym right here. A lot of people don't know how to pivot. Mm. Everybody's so focused on how they want it to be done. The wow. market is gonna make you pivot. If you think about football, basketball, you got to be in the right position. That's what the pivot's for, so you can mm-hmm. make that shot. Some people are so focused and stuck on their the way they see it, they can't pivot. And that's mm-hmm. why a lot of startups fail. If you learn how to pivot through things, then your, 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 your company can exist. The reason I'm saying that is 
the pandemic hits. Woo! Our our company has always our mindset has always been a sport in a box, mm. meaning we could take our sport wherever we want to go. We could take it from Vegas to Atlantic City, whatever. We don't need fans in the stands. We used to tell our we used to tell investors all the time. I can't tell you how many investors just just was like, "This is the dumbest thing," because we were like, "Fans aren't going to be in the stands. We're going to mm. do this. All all the fans are going to be from home. They're going to we're going to build an app." That they're going to take put on their phone, and that their phone is going to become a joystick. They're going to get four <laughs> four plays. They've got twelve seconds to pick that play all around the world, and that play that's chosen is the play that's sent down to the team. So we had people all over the world, globally, over twelve million people calling plays globally. Wow! In, wow! In, in in Australia, in Japan, in mm-hmm. New York, and they're all talking to each other as they're doing that. 